One by one, the downtown buildings are filling up with exciting businesses that keep it vibrant. One of those is a brewery that's doing more than just changing a downtown. They're changing the way we think of beer. Welcome to ETX Brewing. This is owner Brian Gilstrap. All right, so this is the brewery, huh? Yeah, this is where all the magic happens. Okay, how much magic y'all got going on at, at any given moment? So, you know, we have five fermenters, two brides, so uh -huh. at any moment we can have five different beers going on. Okay. Uh, you know, the creative juices never stop flowing. You know, we've, sure. got, we've got some stuff in barrels behind us. I see that. Um, this operation started as an experiment by Brian and his brother Matt, and the two just can't stop trying things. Pretending like they're beer mad scientists and putting everything in beer from lemon head candy to Asian noodles. Matt and I have been brewing beer in my backyard since 2002. And we, yeah. did that, we did that for 15 years and <laughs> my wife said, you know, something's got to change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not only did that hobby change into a full-blown brewery business, but Brian's better half Annie joined the team as well. Now, are you just kind of going along with his love of beer, or you love beer too? I do love beer too, but I will tell you that when he started making it, I didn't love it. And then they got better, Okay. and I started picking the beer they were making over what we bought at the store, and I was like, I think you're onto something here. There we here. go. Ooh, that's really good. I love yeah, that one. that's a delicious IPA. ETX has four flagship beers, but there are dozens of out-of-the-box brews that make their way to the tap room. Now this one right. is a kettle sour. So this is Berry Sourus Rex. Berry Sourus Rex. It's gonna be tart. Woo! Yeah, it hits you back here. That's great though. Now this one is a smoothie beer. What, what, what <laughs> is a smoothie beer? A little bit of beer, a little bit of fruit. <laughs> you know, if I had to drink smoothies every morning for breakfast, that'd be the kind of smoothie I want. But none of these are as strange as making beer with chow mein noodles. Chow mein noodles in the beer. Chow mein noodles with Is this allowed? The <laughs> There's no rules, so we can do whatever we want. Okay, all right, I can get behind that. Oh, it's, it's good. So I'm gonna grab a pint and head over to their connected restaurant, The Porch at ETX, run by Annie's sister Meredith and her husband Aaron. And full disclosure, Aaron's my cousin. Cousin! going on. All right, you were crazy enough to open a restaurant. Yes, sir. Why? Just, I love food. I love feeding people. <laughs> yeah? And I think we have the best burger in East Texas. Well, as long as I've known you, you've been like a burger guy. I have been. You were always on the quest for the yes. world's best burger. Yes. And now you've opened a burger restaurant. So yes. that's a pretty high standard. We grind it here in-house. That's awesome. And um, Nate's come up with all the recipes. He's come up with his own seasoning. Yeah. He makes all the sauces. And our porch burger is just amazing. Nate is the chef and his burger concoctions are a thing of beauty. He was even bold enough to name one after himself, the Nate Nasty. It's a half pound of beef, cheese, bacon, pulled pork, mac and cheese, and finally, a fried egg. Oh, this is a burger for the ages. Are you kidding me? It's like a burger and a side and breakfast all combined into one. Y'all watch watch this. This is just this is just gonna be gratuitous. But I must I must do it. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Part of me wants to get a fork and knife, but part of me thinks that that's given up. It's not believing in yourself. <laughs> so here we go. Oh. Here it goes. Oh yeah. I love my job. Gosh, there, there's something about it. You got a really well-seasoned patty. You got this pulled pork, which adds another texture. And you got this sweet heat, which is adding a, almost like a, like a layer of, of barbecue sauce and hot sauce all at the same time. I'm really glad the napkins are close by. There's gonna, we're gonna be needing a lot of these. If you liked this video, Chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye, con Dios, amigos.